Today you're going to learn how to animate the rotation of an object randomly in all directions with geometry nodes. So let's see. Let's get the camera, the light, go to geometry nodes. Let's get a new profile and I'm going to use a monkey. So let's go to mesh, monkey, and bring this monkey in the setup. Let's connect it and hide the original monkey. Now we have here a monkey and what I want is to rotate it in all directions. So maybe the first option that we are going to think is to use transform and use rotation. So let's try to rotate this in all directions, right? Maybe you're thinking, hmm, maybe we can use random. So let's use random and connect it in rotation and easy peasy. Hmm. However, this is red. So this doesn't work. Why doesn't work? Because this is a round socket and this is a field a diamond socket, so they are not friends. In some scenarios they work, but not in this one. So what we have to do is to use rotate instance. Because here we have a rotation and it's a diamond. So we can connect this with this. However, now this is not working, as you can notice. Actually, we have a message here. Why? Because this is a mesh. And this work with instance. So if you want this to work with this, then you have to select as instance. And now this is an instance, so this is going to work. And now if we connect this here, we can see that this is working. However, as you can notice, if I increment this, always do the same pattern. It's doing rotations, but always in the same way. As you can notice, I increment, I increment, so we don't want that. To solve this, what we have to do is to select vector. So use random value in vector mode. Why? Because remember rotation has three axes. So now if we connect this here, it's going to work perfectly. And the only thing we have to do is to increment this axis. So this one is the x axis, this one the y, and this one the z. So basically, if we increment all the time this, we're going to have random rotations. So let's use a sync time and connect it here. And now if we press spacebar, we have random rotations in the three axes at the same time because it's adding seconds in the three axes. If you want to increment the velocity, then, then add a math node and select multiply. And now we can speed the velocity. And as you can notice, it's rotating in all the axes randomly. I'm going to increment this. By the way, if you're going to use an object that is not an object info, for example, a cube, and we connect it here, you will see that this doesn't work because this is a mesh. So what we have to do is to add geometry to instance, to convert this object to an instance. And now it's going to work. Let's come back to the monkey. And for example, what I want now is to have a lot of monkeys rotating at the same time. So let's add points. And let's convert these points to instance with instance on points. And let's use as instance the monkey. So now if we increment this, this is the number of monkeys. For example, I'm going to select 10. Now we have 10 monkeys rotating at the same time. However, they are together. So we need to separate this. How? We can do it here. For example, using random value. Again, if we use the random value in vector, we can say how much we want to distribute these monkeys. I'm going to select minus 1 because I want to have all the axes together. Now, if you want to separate them, what you have to do is to increment this distance. You could do it like that if you want, increment it like this, but it's much easier if we just add a vector math and we select a scale and just increment this. So now we have a lot of random monkeys animated randomly in all directions. And if you want more, just click here.
By the way, if you don't want all the objects looking at the same direction at the beginning, as you can see later, they change the rotation, but they start at the beginning looking at the same direction. So if you want to change this, the only thing you have to do, for example, is to add here index. So if we add here index, what we're going to do is that for every instance, every object, it will have a different value. And if you connect it here, you can see that now they have different rotations at the start. So we don't have the same pattern. So I hope you learned something new, and if you like this video, give a like, subscribe, and you can do this project and many more on my Patreon. And see you in the next video.